Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 10. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed up your video editing workflow by using Ripple Delete. To Ripple Delete in ScreenFlow 10, first you need to make a selection of what you want to delete on your timeline. So I'm just going to drag the playhead. In this case, I'll go to the one second mark. I'm going to press the shift key. So I'm holding the shift key. I'm going to click on top of the playhead. You'll see that blue line appear. That indicates that you're about to create a selection. And I'm just going to drag out a selection. I'll go to the three second mark. I'm going to let go of both the shift key and the cursor. Everything under the blue is what I want to delete. If you ever need to modify your selection, you can just hover your cursor on the top of the playhead. You'll see the cursor turns into a double arrow. You can just click and you can just modify the selection however you want. To ripple delete, press and hold the command key, then tap on the delete key. So I have the command key pressed. I tap on the delete key and I just performed a ripple delete in ScreenFlow 10. I'm going to undo that and show you exactly what just happened. If you want to delete everything under a selection, you could just tap on the delete key. That will delete everything, but it will also leave a gap in between all of the clips. When you use ripple delete by pressing the command key and then the delete key, it will delete the selection, but it will fill in the gaps by shifting everything to the right of the playhead to fill in the gaps. And if you ever forget that keyboard shortcut, you can go up to the edit menu with the selection made and there you will see ripple delete along with the keyboard shortcut command delete. So right above it is delete. If I were to press delete, it's going to delete the selection, but it will leave a gap in between the clips. But if I press ripple delete or use the keyboard shortcut command delete, that is going to delete the selection and it shifted everything to the right to fill in the gaps. So to ripple delete in ScreenFlow 10, first make a selection. I'm gonna press the shift key. I'm gonna click on the playhead and drag out a selection. Under the blue is everything that I want to delete. I'm gonna press the command key. Then I'm gonna tap on the delete key. Everything under the selection is gonna get deleted and everything to the right is gonna get shifted over to the left to fill in the gap. So command, delete, and that is ripple delete. Wanna close the gaps on the timeline but keep the positioning of the clips the same? You can use ripple delete. Pressing the shift key, drag out a selection, press the command key, press the delete key, or come up to the edit menu, choose ripple delete, and that is how to ripple delete in ScreenFlow 10. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.